Are you looking for a quick, easy weeknight dinner that is very low in bites and points and calories? Then you're going to enjoy my poultry a la king. You can use chicken, turkey, or even tuna if you choose. But it comes together in a snap, and I'm going to show you how to do it coming up next. Hello and welcome to my kitchen. My name is Roy. I am a home cook and amateur baker and I am here on this channel sharing recipes that have helped me to lose over 125 pounds, whether those recipes are mine or someone else's. Now today is going to be one of mine and I came up with this one just recently because I had some leftover turkey from Christmas dinner and so I put it in the freezer for a week or so and decided I needed to use it up and wanted to do something a little different. So I am doing a version of chicken a la king, but with turkey, so I'm calling this just poultry a la king. You can use whatever poultry you want. Now, you don't have to use turkey or chicken. You can, I hate to say it, use tuna also. I hate to say it because if you've been watching this channel at all, you know I'm not a fan of seafood. But if you wanted to, you could also replace the poultry with some tuna. So they've heard, I have obviously not done it, but that's the word on the street, you can use tuna. So let's go over the ingredients. I have a pound of turkey breast. Actually, it's a little less than a pound. I'm not gonna tell if you don't. Um, but about a pound of poultry, cooked and then chopped into bite-sized pieces. So you could cook this ahead of time. You could do it in the crock pot. If you meal prep your chicken breasts, you could use some of that, just chop it up into bite-sized pieces and use it. Or you could cook it in the pan, cut it up and cook it in the pan, take it out and then proceed with the procedure as I'm doing it and add that chicken or turkey back in when I add this in. But anyways, that's a pound of poultry meat, breast meat, obviously, for zero bites, zero points. I have a cup of sliced mushrooms. I'm using the Baby Bellas, the little brownish ones, because I think they have a little more flavor than the white button mushrooms. And that came out to about four ounces of mushroom, so about a half of a standard eight ounce package. You don't have to measure it if you don't want to. A little more or less isn't gonna hurt anything because zero bite, zero points. It will change calories and macros slightly, but not enough that I would worry about it personally, but you do you. I have a cup of frozen peas here. I have a four ounce can of diced pimentos. These are very standard in chicken a la king. And if you don't have pimentos, but you do have like roasted red peppers, you can chop those up into little bits and use four ounces of that. I am just using it right out of the jar. There's not really enough liquid in here that it's gonna damage anything and it'll add a little bit more flavor. Speaking of flavor, we have our Healthy Request Cream of Chicken Soup. That's like the 98% fat free. I think they might have done away with that name and gone with just the Healthy Request because I haven't seen the 98 and they were pretty much the same thing. So I don't know. Anyways, that's their business. I have some cooking spray. And another thing that is very standard in Chicken a la King is sherry. Now I'm only going to add a tablespoon, which is not going to alter the bites. You do not have to use sherry if you don't want to. Or if you don't have sherry, like I didn't have sherry, I'm going to use some dry vermouth. You could use Madeira wine. You could also use a white wine. It won't have as much flavor and we're not using too much. But if you didn't want to use alcohol at all, you could use apple cider or just leave it out. It's not that big of a thing. 
Um, it's more just a little flavor enhancer. Um, but that's usually standard sherry and the pimentos and the peas for the most part are pretty standard in chicken a la king. So it's chicken, but I'm using turkey, but we won't talk about that right now. Um, anyways, so what we are going to do first is spray our large cooking pan here with cooking spray. This might be the fastest recipe I think that I do. I don't know. Add in our mushrooms. And why do I have two? See, now I'm over-prepared. Usually I'm not prepared and I have to go get a spatula. Now I have two for the price of one. Go figure. Um, so I'm just gonna even these out. This is over a medium, just over medium heat, like medium high heat, not high medium, if you know what I mean. Um, it's not the higher end of medium. But I'm gonna let the mushrooms sit here for about three to five minutes let them get a little color, then I'm gonna toss them around and let them sit for another three to five minutes. So let me give, let these sit for a few minutes and I will be right back. Okay, so it's been about three minutes and you can see we have some nice browning on our mushrooms here. So I'm gonna let these sit for another three to five minutes on this side and then we will move on. All right, so it's just about another three, four minutes. And you don't have to use fresh mushrooms. Brie, you don't have to use mushrooms at all if you really don't want to. Put something else in there, like some more peas or something, onions. You like onions more than Jennifer Lynn does, so there's your swap. But anyway, you don't have to use Fresh mushrooms, you could use a small four and a half ounce can of um, mushrooms that you drain. Make sure you drain those off. So these look good, nicely browned. Going to add in our frozen peas because we want these to cook up a little bit. We don't want them to stay frozen, that is for sure. So we're going to cook these together for just about four minutes. Let those thaw out and we will move on to the next step. Okay, so it's been about four minutes to the paw, pause. The peas are pretty well thawed out now. Now we are going to add in our poultry, turkey in my case, chicken in the typical case, or tuna if you're that kind of person. I'm gonna stir this through just a little bit and then add in our pimentos. And as I said, I'm not draining them because I want some of that liquid to help flavor everything. All right, so just gonna stir this through because I wanna coat the turkey with some of that pimento liquid um, just to give it a little moisture while it's heating up. So now this is gonna sit here for about four minutes and then we will be ready to finish up this really quick dish. Be right back. Okay, so it's been four minutes. Last step, we're gonna add in the chicken, cream of chicken soup. I'm going to add a little water to this can because we may thin this out a little bit. It'll depend on a couple of things. How dry your chicken or turkey is um, and also what you're going to pair it with. If you're going to pair it with pasta you may want it a little looser then it would come out normally. So let me grab a little water. So I have just like a half of the can with water so I can test it and I'm going to add in my mock sherry my vermouth. As I said, you don't have to do this step. This is optional. It is pretty standard for chicken a la king, but I mean, you don't have to. It's your meal. You do it as you like. It doesn't have to be exact. Believe me, this is not 
the standard chicken a la king. We'd be having flour and cream and all that stuff. No, we're not doing that. Just gonna put that spoon in there and stir this all through. Now you can serve this in a number of ways. You can do it, as I said, over pasta, which is what I'm gonna be doing. I have some fiber gourmet rotini pasta, which is only two bites a serving. So that's what I'm gonna be using. And it is a little thicker than I would want it for a pasta. So I'm gonna add about half of what I have in this pan and see how that goes. And you can also serve this over rice. You can serve it, you can serve it on toast. You can serve it over eggs. I mean, I've seen it used a lot of ways. I've even seen people serving it with crepes. So I would assume even like a tortilla, you could serve it that way. But I prefer something a little hearty that's going to have a little substance. Okay, that looks creamy enough and loose enough for me for now. We're gonna let this cook for about four to five minutes. Then I will check and see the consistency then, see if I need to add a little bit more water. But either way, we're almost done. Okay, so that is looking perfect. I did add another tablespoon or two of water just to loosen it up because as I said, I am gonna be serving it on pasta and that's going to suck up some of that and I don't want it to get too dry. Another great way to serve this is over like biscuits, like instead of biscuits and gravy, you could use this as the gravy. You could also do um, over waffles, especially those hash brown waffles that I made in a previous video and I will card that up here and leave the link down in the description box. That would be an interesting take on chicken and waffles, putting some of this over those hash brown waffles. So let me just taste for seasoning. It does need, we like pepper, so it does need a bit of pepper. If you don't like this much pepper, obviously you don't have to do it. Your seasoning to your taste and just a little bit of salt. And then I'm going to stir that in and voila, we are done. So let me turn this down to keep it warm. I'm gonna clean up a couple of things and I'll be right back with those nutrition facts. Okay, so there you have it, poultry a la king or tuna a la king if you go that way. But as I always say, you do you, do what you like, change it up how you like. You don't like mushrooms, take them out, put something else in, maybe some onion. And this makes four servings and each serving is only one better balance bite. I'm on the healthy, formerly iTrack Bites, better balance program and that is equivalent to the old WW Blue plan. With the personal points, I'm not sure where you would fall, but if you can compare it to the Blue plan, this is only one point or one bite. Now, if you are following calories, one serving is 227 calories. And if you are following macros, the fat would be 4.7 grams, the carbs would be 14.7 grams, and the protein would be 29.8 grams for one fourth of this pan here. And as I said, I'm doing it with pasta a little bit later. I would have the pasta here now, but I'm filming this early so that it's ready for us. But this is a really quick, easy meal to throw together on a weeknight or any time that you're in a rush. Comes together really quickly, took 25 minutes maybe total. And you can pair it with a variety of things, whatever you feel like having it with. So if you like this recipe, I hope that you will give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet and you are looking for recipes that can help you on a weight loss journey. Hit the notification bell for the next time I upload any sort of video. 
and share this video. If you know someone who might be interested in this kind of meal, please share the video. I would appreciate that. And comment down below, are your leanings towards turkey, chicken, or my nemesis, tuna? It is your call. It is your journey. You do it as you need to do it. And you can find the recipe for this on my blog, which is linked down in the description box, along with a few other things that may be of interest to you, like my fresh rewards, my Amazon storefront, if anything that I use, if I got it from there or can find it there, it's listed there, including a lot of the foods that I enjoy. And also there, you will find links to my social media. Here is my Instagram handle. And there are also two Facebook groups that I'm part of. One is my own Recipes with Roy. And the other one is Finding Our Way, W-E-I-G-H. And that one I co-admin with Jennifer Lynn from the Jennifer Lynn channel, as well as Bree Coleman from Balancing Life with Bree. So join us over there. There's lots of great tips, tricks, recipes, support, and people. Lots of great people over there. So I'm gonna keep this on a simmer and get my pasta ready and enjoy a delicious dinner. So until next time, bye.